Kirby had a buff transition to 3D. After almost 30 years wondering what it would look like to play a Kirby game from the perspective of his behind, god damn, god damn, this is finally here. Now, I'm not the biggest Kirby fan, I've only really played a handful of games, Superstar, Epic Yarn, some spin-offs, but the very first 3D Kirby? It's a huge deal, and it's something everyone has wanted to see since the N64 was a thing. The GameCube passed, then the Wii, then the Wii U, and nothing, but now, it's his time. This has been demanded since before I was released into this world, how has it taken them this long to do it? According to Games Radar, Shigeru Miyamoto went over to HAL and show the guys Unity. What preceded was, and I quote from the man himself, <coughs> bonkers. Look, there, there are middle-aged men losing their f***ing mind over this little pink guy. I'm a quarter-aged man and I'm losing my f***ing mind over this pink guy. Everyone's played this demo by now and, I mean, everyone loves it. I won't lie, I, I was pretty concerned when they showed this in September as, as a first try at 3D Kirby. It could totally have been jank, but this demo has reassured pretty much everybody. The demo starts off uh, what I assume is just the first small chunk of the game, uh, a few levels and a finish. The stars, a story slash concept slash ramblings of a crazy man. A bunch of animals are capturing Waldies and other Kirby friends and they're led by, I assume, a possessed DDD. Which is a new and fresh idea as we all know. This is set on Earth in like 7 million years, so if there's no radiation in Wonderland level, I, I have to assume DDD showed up one day and just decided to end our race. Really, the, the possibilities for this game, it's limitless. It, it's our world, completely destroyed from some kind of disaster. Kirby also has a new friend who's missing a chunk out of, um, her? There? There? It? I think it's a nit. I I'd like to eat it. So many people are saying it will transform into an eldritch creation. It's gonna betray you, blah blah blah, but well, I have a question for all those people. No, that's my question. No, mark my f***ing words. <laughs> this is gonna be the one time it stays good. I know for a fact that how laboratory it, they're just trying to trick us. Graphics and attention to detail in the environment is just great to look at. It's so radically different for a Kirby game as usually not in a bad way. A lot of the textures and objects usually look very smoothed out and not bland, plain in a way. But this new game feels like it has a lot more of a detailed art direction. You look down into the roads, the buildings, there's rust, visible age and wear and tear and uh, pretty much everywhere. Really helps set in that this is a new world, this place is it's kind of a wasteland, but it's set against how vibrant and warm the nature part of the game looks, green greens, plant and flower. I love it. This is, for me at least, one of the best looking games on the Switch right now. It's just, god, it's, it's so great to look at. Level design, arguably the most important part of a platformer, is, well, how is it? In this subtle demo, we're going through two levels, taking powers, attacking innocent dogs and cats, avoiding hazards presented to you. What, what you expect, generally. You're jumping on a robo riding escalators, but the main objective is to save Waddledees that are trapped, which I may I add, are actually hidden in the level as well as being the end goal here. It's generally linear, and while I have seen parts where you could do a little bit of exploring, it's nothing like the bigger Mario games or, I don't know, Twin Sanity when it comes to level design. I think a more linear, focused experience is actually better for Kirby, and that all of this fits perfectly and feels great to play. I'm really not sure a very, very open-ended game would work out for Kirby anyway. If I was to compare it to anything, it, it, it does feel like 3D land or a world. Voring fanbase rejoice! Finally, us Vorers have some representation in the world. Kirby suck car, Kirby suck vending machine, <laughs> what's Kirby gonna suck next? A big ol' That is not my skin colour. I am at least mahogany colour. I, I, I was gonna say building. Mouthful mode is just hilarious. I love the idea that Kirby isn't even- he's barely even affected by the thought of Fiesta saying in his throat. It's such a charming feature, I, I really look forward to seeing what else my throat go inhales. It controls like hot piss, so it feels amazing. Kirby is so responsive and honestly, we should have seen that coming, it is a Nintendo platformer. The moves available right now include Kirby's classic inhale, which lets you gruesomely consume your enemies, either burping them out or taking their ability. 
jumping has been kind of stilted compared to what you could do before. So Kirby can't jump as much as you could do in normal Kirby games. From where you take off, you have a specific height that you can reach from that specific point. I'm kind of glad about that. Uh, sometimes a restriction is needed to make more of a cohesive experience. So it's a good change to not let you stay up indefinitely, meaning you can't rely on jumping and make it the whole way without touching the ground. There's a slide which you can initiate with a button that no, no one knows the na name of. The f fuck it, what, the thick one. The, the, the thick one? Yeah, thick one. New, I think, additions also include being able to block enemies. Also being able to somersault in multiple directions. God, it's so cool. I really appreciate the desire to make him feel more expansive with the introduction introduction of new perspectives, and therefore new abilities. And stolen, straight from Mario Odyssey, is the power-up system. Very shameless thieving, Hal. Very, very shameless indeed. As for powers, there is obviously bomb, sword, I, I think ice? Could be wrong, but they did not add new ones into this demo. I, I do know drill was in a trailer which is a new power. My expectation right now is just that most of the new powers that they're saving is probably going to be in the full game. But you can't sprint, which is a weird mission. To be honest, it, it makes the game feel a little slow at times. Luckily, I, I think the game compensates for this pretty well, as most of the game is filled with... Well, the game. It's just in those areas where nothing's really going on that that slow feeling kind of comes up. Times when I really feel like being able to sprint would help. But... What's here is damn good, and honestly, don't get me wrong, the demo is really fun, I, I just hope that the game doesn't get tedious, and isn't more of the same thing. That would still be fun as they have a solid foundation here, but new ideas that make levels feel unique to one another? That's what pushes a platformer from just being good to being great, an exception. Although I will say that if what they've shown in previews and trailers is what to expect, I don't think I have much to worry about, you know? Generally, it's just great to be seeing so many 3D platformers being rejuvenated for the past year. Cow the Kangaroo, obviously Crash 4, Klonoa, although it's more of a 2D platformer, f***ing dumb stupid white glover just got announced. What the hell is the current gaming industry? Oh right, that's the current gaming industry. Kirby and the Forgotten Land is looking to be really fantastic. Now, we just have to wait and see if the other big 3D platform, Sonic Frontiers, will deliver. It's been a year since it was revealed. A crumb, a slur, please, I'm begging you, Sega. So, uh, yeah. Pink.